welcome to Cyprus. It is our wedding week. We have just checked in. We are at the hotel, the Leonardo Cipria Maris. I think that's what it's called. Um, we're here for 10 days. It's now Wednesday. We're getting married on Monday. So we're gonna be busy over the next few days, um, catching up with friends and family, doing a bit of training. And so we thought we'd um, take you along for our week and just see how the preparations for the wedding and also still trying to marathon train in the midst of it as well. So yeah, we've just checked into our room. So this is the front door, our wardrobe, our bathroom. And we've been left some lovely balloons on the bed. And then out here, is a view of the pool and Plan now is to do a little bit of unpacking. It's about three o'clock now. We said that we'd go out for a group run at half past three. We're gonna meet outside the front of our hotel. A few of us are gonna head out for our first run. Um, it's super warm, it's like 30 degrees, but hopefully just take it easy. Um, and then probably do a little bit more unpacking later, chill by the pool for a couple of hours and then enjoy our first night. Um, I think there will be about nine, 15, about 20 of us here for the first night. So hopefully that should be good fun and just settle into our first night here in Cyprus. Run done. We've stopped off at a place called Sweet 48. Now we set our time lapse up. Oh, that's my frozen strawberry daiquiri being made. And this is the venue for our welcome drinks on Saturday. So I've just thought we'd stop off for a drink. What's that, Yeah, that's sunset. So a good morning and hello and welcome from the track. What's this track called, James? Do you remember? Can you pronounce it? Jira Skipper or something? Jira Skipper, I don't know. Basically, I don't know, I don't know. That's it, say, say it with conviction and it'll be fine. But yeah, we are at the track this morning. It's now Thursday, it's the second day of our trip. Um, <clears throat> we had quite a late night last night. Um, pardon? Eventful, it was fun. Um, we went for dinner, went to the bar in um, the hotel, which is like a club, but it's like, I don't know if it's a club. It's a Discotech. dark, pardon? Discotech. Discotech. <laughs> and they're playing 80s and 90s music. So the drinks were flowing, everyone was having a good time. And yeah, we didn't go to bed probably till about half one. So we're now at the track, we've done our warm up. We're doing a session of 300s today. Um, everyone's doing different things. We've got people tapering from marathons, hungover, recovering from injuries full on marathon mode. But yeah. Here we go. Track.
So today's session is 300 meters with 100 meter recovery. Uh, we're gonna be aiming for roughly 80% effort at your 5K pace. Um, however, some of you have got races coming up. So um, Pete, if you've got races coming up, if you do aim for around eight laps, yeah. um, and then Sadie, I think you've got Berlin in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, so I think if you were just aiming for about 10 to, 10 to 12 laps, is it? Okay, yeah. Um, everybody else, um, not got that many races, do it immediately. So we aim for around 12 to 15 reps um, off the track. So yeah, so we'll start at the finish line effectively. Start yeah, on. finish line, start finish line, line. Start, okay. line. Yeah, start line, <laughs> start finish line, you know what I mean? Um, we'll do 300 round, and then as I said, we'll just walk back and uh, really take the time, it's nice and hot today, so, um, and then just take on the fluids. But yeah, so 80% effort for 300 meters. Let's go. Go on, KT. Go on, guys. Go on, Sammy. My name's Peter, and this is me before my run, and I love my coach. My name's Peter Galvin. I fucking hate my coach. My name's Peter Galvin. I don't hate my coach. If it wasn't for my coach, I wouldn't have done eight times 300 around here. So I love my coach. Right, there we go. Track session complete, gang. Dan, how was that for you? Loved it. All six minutes of it before I was sick. <laughs> but yeah, we've just finished at the track. Great session by everyone. Dan, the support was there. Appreciated it. So yeah, I was there in heart. 300s. Um, yeah, there was a range of between six and... I think actually the boys did 15 reps. I did, I did 12 and all very similar in pace, which is what we want, consistency. It was very warm, but everyone had a good time, didn't they? Naomi had a good one. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Paul had a good session. What, what tough. Yeah, tough. It was very tough, but no, everyone seemed to enjoy it. And now we're just heading back to the hotel to try and cool off. And there's some jump, the yeah. jump in the ball. Where are we now? I lost, when you're on holiday, you lose totally your days. We're Thursday. Right, so today, a catch up on today. We went to the track and then went for my makeup trial, which was incredible. Um, that was like 45 minutes to do the makeup. And then I realized that I had to walk back to the hotel. And also then um, I didn't want anyone else to see it. So I stood there and took 45 minutes work off with literally like a minute or two. And I came back to the, the pool, just chilled out this afternoon. A few more guests arrived. Um, and then this evening, I have been sorting out all the stuff for um, the wedding. We're, we've got our wedding planning meeting tomorrow. So we have, uh, so we're gonna give all of the stuff like um, welcome sign and cardboard boxes this is part of the wedding uh, this welcome sign's got a story to it so um maybe i'll save that for another day and then i have packed oh that's uh, some dirty clothes but i have packed all of the things like uh name cards all those little sort of like favors and bits so that they're ready and yeah we're just uh confetti bags we've got fans we've got some activity packs for the kids um so they can during dinner be entertained and then yeah just been getting ready james and some of the guys went out for a second run and they went down to did you go to embania yep. in the end so they went to a um, bar called embania which is like one of our favorite bars we found it on like our first trip here and then we're getting ready going for dinner and let's see what where the night takes us very dangerous. um yeah so like last night the first night was a bit like messy should we say or well, it was good fun essentially for um all of us because i find the first night of holidays always like sometimes like you peak quite early so because we've got some people that are here for their first day we'll see if they're ready to party or and we'll see if the day one people want early nights but i'm gonna try and take it easy tonight because tomorrow morning i've got my hair trial and we've got our wedding planning meeting and my hair trial's at 8 15 in the morning so early another early start for me um, famous last words though, we'll see, won't we? Yeah, like a husband to be. Very smart. Don't be time I shouted. No, I think you're. I think you're right. So yeah, husband to be.
say happy holidays. Yama. 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 <laughs>today so Jack, uh, Anna and I are just out for a long run we've just done six miles we've got to this oh we've got to this wonderful we've just been running along the coastal path around these are the run views right place where they're building all of these lovely villas just look at that view Six miles done, just had a gel. We're literally just gonna run the opposite way back now. Um, I've got two hours on the plan, Anna's got 18. What coach, eh, puts that on her plan? <laughs> but Anna's doing Abingdon, which is three weeks after London. And then uh, once we get back to the hotel, we'll assess the situation, see if we're gonna carry on for a bit longer. Anna is gonna potentially jump on the treadmill to finish. Oh, we'll go that, that way. <laughs> just, through, just going through a building site. <laughs> anyway, right. All miles to do, let's go. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, that's nice and refreshing. Oh, that might have been. Maybe I'm going to slip some of my work from it. in the eyes okay Anna and I'm done two oh, two hours run we're back at the hotel it's now sort of just gone after half eight so it is really hotting up it was beautiful at 6 30 for the first hour it was lovely kind of shaded on the way back the last 10 minutes started to get very hot but we are done uh, Anna's got a few more miles to do on the treadmill um, but yeah just over half marathon complete for Saturday morning, two weeks till London Marathon. Run complete and I'm now waiting for James to get back and then we're gonna head down for some breakfast. My family arrived yesterday, so we're gonna head over and see them as well. So that's, it's lovely. Everyone's just arriving now um, over the last few days and we've just been welcoming people after people and family after friends and it's, it's just wonderful. James just got back from his run um, but yesterday was a very busy day, so I didn't really get to update on what we'd been getting up to. So fr that was Friday. Uh, I had my ch hair trial in the morning. It was really early, 8.15. I went to the salon, um, which is called Renoir Hair and Beauty. And um, they will be coming to the venue on the actual day. But I had my hair done, which all went really well. And then James and I got picked up by our wedding planner. We went to the town hall. And... I'm not sure particularly what it's like in the UK. Whether you have to, get, you, I'm sure you have to give like some form of notice of marriage, but haven't really looked into that because that's not what we had to do. But we can get legally married out here. It's all official, but we had to go to the town hall and give over all of our documentation. We had to beforehand in the UK. We had to get a statutory statutory declaration signed, um, basically saying that we were like single and free to get married um, and then we had to have that apostille stamped and then with that we had to take our passports um, we had to fill out another form which is all of the information for the marriage certificate we had to take, had to take copies of our witness passports I think that was it but anyway I had all the documents ready to go so just had to pay the fee um, sign a document and then that's all it all sorted for Monday I think you can do this kind of stuff on the morning of, but obviously with the wedding planner, um, I don't think there's like any like time restrictions over here. I think you just have to go and do it before your wedding. So that was done and then we went to the venue and just did final numbers, catering, just literally did a whole run through of timings of the day, all of the final details and uh, yeah, I, everything was so sorted that the wedding planner was like, you can have a job. <laughs> Um, but that does make sense because I used to be in events. So yeah, everything was sorted out. Um, 
and then in the afternoon came back chilled out by the pool and then we went out for dinner last night with james's family to a place called gourmet taverna which we have been to a number of times before here so highly recommended if you ever do come to paphos and then we saw the rest of james's family in another restaurant and then came back and then my parents had arrived so it's lovely to catch up with them um, and have a drink with them for an early night before the long run which went well just did a half marathon along the post coastal path started at half six so the weather was quite cool we we're kind of in a breeze on the way back about half eight it was starting to get really hot so really kind of like we timed it perfectly and then today um, I've got a few little bits left to do. We are changing rooms today, which is exciting, which I'm looking forward to seeing what room they're putting us in next. And then tonight is our welcome drinks, which we've organised um, at a bar about 10 minutes walk away, which is called Sweet 48. So um, uh, my sister arrived late, late last night with my nephew, so we're going to go and see them today. And also, uh, yeah, changing rooms, a few bits to sort out. And then my brother is arriving with Georgie this afternoon and our neighbours and then three more people to arrive tomorrow and that is everyone here in Cyprus before Monday. Okay, so it's a little later in the afternoon now and we have just checked into our new room. So I will switch you around and show you about. So hallway entrance way here. We have a bathroom. Big old shower, no baths. Uh, we've got some wardrobes, so I've unpacked everything now. And, uh, by the way, that's not my veil for Monday. <laughs> that's just, I bought it just in case I've been asked to wear it. They're the uh, robes for Monday. They're so nice. So yeah, wardrobes, I've got all this here tea and coffee station I've uh, no then we have this lovely seating area TV lovely plant we've got a one balcony here and then this is our bedroom lovely big bed wardrobes James has got these all to himself so I've just unpacked for him because he's headed out suit for Monday my dress is in uh, my maid of honour's room. We've got getting ready station, our cases, and then the view. That's the next door hotel. So this is um, the Le Leonardo, <laughs> I can't even speak. Next door is the Leonardo Cipria Bay. And this is the children's hotel. This one is adults only. So I get a lovely view of the sea. And then we're in here now, so it's now Friday, we're in here till next, no, it's Saturday today, we're in here till next Saturday, so we're in here for a week, and the hotel kindly upgraded us because it's our wedding, which was very, very kind of them. Uh, James is headed out now, he's just gone to finish off his speech um, for Monday, and then we've got had a few more people arrive, um, so I've been with my family this morning, um, and yeah, a few more people arriving later. Plan now is to grab some food, it's about half two. If lunch is still open, hopefully. Um, chill out by the pool and then we're gonna get ready. We're gonna head down early to the place that's doing our welcome drinks, uh, which is a place called Sweet 48. A lot of people that are getting married through Marry Me Cyprus also have their uh, welcome drinks there. Um, they are they were difficult to get hold of and I think it's just a Cypriot thing my wedding planner was like wow you managed to get in touch with them and I just had to keep calling keep calling keep calling and finally managed to get our booking I think it's to do with they don't like taking booking so far in advance don't know what it is I think it's different in the UK you know if you're gonna book far in advance they're like yeah sure why not but anyway that will be this evening um yeah, I'm not sure if I've got anything else to update you on as of yet, but I'll catch up with you later at the welcome. <laughs> Hi Andy. Hi. But it is if you if you drink a few like I don't think I don't think so much. Hi Andy. Hi. And uh that one. And uh that one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Last night we had our welcome drinks, which was absolutely amazing. We had such a brilliant evening. The vibe was good, everyone was really happy, everyone was mingling, meeting each other if they hadn't. It was just lovely to see all of our friends and family together in one place. Um, we, James and I went there first off to have some food, which was amazing. They did these incredible porn star martinis, but they were like frozen. Um, yeah, they were really good. I had quite a few of those. Um, so today, feeling a bit, well, I didn't feel like horrendous, but I didn't feel like tip top, shall we say. Um, and like this morning I woke up like, it's really unfair. Like I tried to consciously drink lots of water yesterday. Like literally was downing like bottles. I must have drunk about three at least bottles. So, and then when I woke up, um, I wasn't too happy that I had a headache, but it soon went um, and yeah, everyone had a really good day. Today I've been finishing some last minute touches. We had Holly from HK Steaming come round and she did all of the groom's party suits. So they're all ready and pressed for tomorrow. And then she will come up to our venue um, to do my dress and the bridesmaids dresses. But tonight I'm off out for dinner with my mum, my sister and um, my bridesmaids and Anna. And um, yeah, we're just having a nice meal, chilled one get back here early because I literally have been having five or six hours sleep per night. It's been ridiculous how little sleep that I've been getting. Um, James is off out for dinner now with the boys. Um, he's in a separate hotel room to us. Um, so he's staying with his brother Matt in another hotel, in another room. And my best friend Freya is going to stay with me tonight here. Um, yeah, and then I don't know how I'm going to close this video, but we'll see how far we get. Um, I did no training today. It was an optional run of my plan, but decided against it. So, hey ho, it feels weird. Like London's in two weeks time today, but my mind is obviously so not there, which is normal. Um, but yeah, this will be an interesting taper and transition. It doesn't feel like I'm in a taper because my full focus is just on having the best time here. But anyway, the girls are waiting for me downstairs. So I will head out for dinner and I'll catch up with you at some point in the next 24 hours. Oh, and this is my last night as a miss. Soon to be, this is down. You're not meant to see your husband on the morning of your wedding <laughs> when a group of runners goes past. There's loads of them, that's really sweet. 